Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you today from beautiful Cape Cod and I thought I would film outside. I hope you are okay with it. I hope you can hear me well. I have my big microphone right here. Hello, hello. Today I planned for you a super, super fun tutorial and since it is summer here in New England and beach time for most of you, I thought I would revisit an old bathing suit pattern that I had created. It was actually a one piece bathing suit and I thought I would just use some of my old footage but improve it by turning it into a high waist bikini bottom with a tankini top. So today I will focus on the bikini bottom and then next time, next week or the week after, I will create the tankini top for you. What do you think? I used the same yarn I had used last year, which is the Alice yarn. It is perfect. The material is perfect to go in the water. It is one of the few yarns that I found that is this way. So I reused this, but I changed the color. I used a beautiful army green that I love. It's beautiful when you have a little tan. If you are not subscribed to my channel, don't hesitate to do so. It's totally free. Click on the subscribe button down here and don't hesitate to ring on the little bell right here to be notified every time I post something new. Also here you can find me on my social media. On Facebook, I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to have more than 5,000 friends and we passed that. So I'm going to try to create a page or something. I had done it in the past, but I never went on it because I didn't know how to use it. So I promise I will work on that. So more of you can come and join the Facebook family as well. Here is the winner for the last giveaway. Congratulations. You will get all the material that was used in my last tutorial. The Pride Month toiletry bag. If you haven't seen it, I will put a little link here. You can click on it and it will take you right to that tutorial. For today, again, I am. I think you are really enjoying this type of giveaway. So one of you will be able to win all the material to create this bathing suit, this bikini bottom. And that is the yarn, the crochet, the tapestry needle and the scissors. So to participate in the giveaway, super easy. Of course, the giveaway is only for my subscribers. So be subscribed and comment in the comment box down below. That is it. As soon as you do that, you enter the giveaway and I will randomly choose somebody and I will announce the winner in my next video. Okay, so this tutorial is again beginner plus intermediate level, but no worries. I will take you through it slowly but surely as usual. The little star stitch pattern is super cute. I had used it a few times before and I'm reusing it for this high waist bikini bottom. I love high waist bikini bottom. It just, I think, looks better for my body age. Um, I cannot rock those tiny, tiny bikini bottoms that I see on the internet so this is really comfortable and of course you can make it as high or low as you want but I will show you what I feel comfortable with you can of course make it your own you do you and that is it so if you are interested in seeing how I create this beautiful bikini bottom this week and tankini top next week then keep on watching and in the meantime I'm eating my hair and in the meantime happy crochet love you and I hope you're having a great summer bye all right, are you ready for this tutorial? You will need only one skin of the Alice Diva Stretch. I chose the green color. You will also need a crochet hook, 2 mm.75, scissors, tapestry needle, and a stitch marker. As I said in my intro, don't pay attention to the turquoise color. We are working on the green one, but I am using one of my old tutorials since it's very similar. And then I am adding my 2019 improvements. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. And then proceed by making chains. You will need 101 chains in total. See how stretchy our yarn is? That is perfect for our bathing suit. All right, continue chaining away and I will meet you once you have 101 chains. We are going to create the back of our bikini bottom. 
All right, we are beginning the first round of our bikini bottom, single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet in each and every chain that presents itself to you all along. At the end of your first row, you will have 100 single crochets. And when you're done with your first row, you're going to turn your work around, chain one. And for row two and three, you're going to make rows of single crochets all along. I will meet you at the end of your row three. At the end of your third row, you will still have 100 single crochets in total. All right, time for your fourth row, and this will be a row of decreases. We're going to decrease at the beginning and the end of your row. Let me show you how to decrease. When you decrease, you do not chain one at the beginning of your row. Pass your crochet hook through your first stitch right there. Yarn over and right back through that stitch. You have two loops on your crochet hook. You go into the next stitch, pass your crochet hook through the stitch, yarn over and back through that stitch. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and through all the loops on your crochet hook. And just like that, you decreased. And for the rest of your row, you're going to single crochet all along until you reach the two last stitches. And I will show you again how to decrease at the end of your row. All right, so you are at the end of your row. You have two stitches left. And let me show you again how to decrease. You take your crochet hook, you pass it through the stitch, yarn over and back. You have two loops on your crochet hook. Go to the next stitch, pass your crochet hook, yarn over and back. You have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over through all the loops on your hook. And that is it, you just have decreased. At the end of your fourth row, you will have 98 stitches. Now for row five, six, and seven, you will single crochet all along, still having 98 stitches at the end of your seventh row. And your eighth row will be a row of decrease. And we're going to repeat decreasing at the beginning and at the end of your row, single crocheting all along. At the end of your eighth row, you will have 96 stitches in total. And you can clearly see the decrease. You see how it goes diagonally on the side. That is what you want. All right, so you're done with your eighth row. Row nine, 10 and 11 will be rows of single crochet all along. You will still have 96 stitches at the end of row 11. Row 12 will be a row of decrease, decreasing at the beginning and at the end. At the end of row 12, you will have 94 stitches in total. All right, for row 13, you're going to switch it up a little bit and you're only going to decrease at the beginning of your row which means that at the end of your 13th row, you will have 93 stitches in total. And you're going to repeat this 13th row until you reach the end of row 54. So you're going to repeat this all along, decreasing at the beginning of each row. Look, this is what your work will look like. We are decreasing and this is actually going to be hugging your back and your bum bum. <laughs> All right, this is what your work will look like at the end of your row 54. You will have 52 stitches in total. And we are going to narrow it some more and create the crotch area. Isn't crotch such an ugly word, crotch? 
crutch. And now for row 55, you're going to again decrease at the beginning and at the end of your row. And at the end of your row, you will have 50 stitches in total. And you will continue making that same row until you reach the end of a row 73. So decreasing at the beginning and at the end of your row. At the end of row 73, you will have 14 stitches left. Time to work on the part that will go down there in between your legs. And for that, we are going to make a bunch of rows. So from row 74 to 91, we will chain one and single crochet all along. So on working on those 14 stitches left until the end of row 91. I will meet you then. And this is what your work will look like at the end of row 91. And now we had decreased all along, but from now on, we're going to increase. So we are at row 92 and to increase super simple chain one, turn your work around and just make two single crochets in the first stitch. And then you're going to single crochet all along and you're going to make two single crochets in the last stitch. At the end of row 92, you will have 16 stitches in total. All right, you're done with your row, chain one and turn your work around. And for your row 93, you're going to single crochet all along and you will still have 16 stitches at the end of this row. Row 94 will be a row of increase. So chain one, turn your work around, make two single crochet in the first stitch, single along, make two, make two single crochet in the last stitch. At the end of your row, you will have 18 stitches in total. All right, chain one, turn your work around. And now for row 95, you will have a row of single crochet, still having 18 stitches at the end of your row. All right, and this is what your work will look like. You can clearly see now the back part, and now we are creating the front part of your bikini. And we are going to repeat those two last rows, so one row of increase, one row of single crochet, until you have 30 stitches in total, and that takes you to the end of row 106. So for the 2019 version of my bikini, the green one, you are going to continue doing, making those 94 and 95th uh, rows. So continuing to increase one row on both sides and then one row on single crochet until you have 56 stitches and that will take you to row 131. And this is what your work will look like around row 131. And now we will continue. And then on a row 132, you will make a row of single crochet. 
and then row 133 you will begin to increase on both sides again so two single crochet at the beginning single crochet along and then two single crochet in the last stitch and then you're going to begin to do that for row 133 34 35 until you reach the end of row 144 at the end of your row 144 you will have 80 stitches in total and it will be time for you to join your bikini bottom time to join between the front and the back and i am going to show you exactly how to do that and from now on we are going to be crocheting in the rounds no more rows and to do that, we are going to chain eight. This will be the link from the front to the back. And that will count as your first row of your waist. All right, so chain eight. <coughs> I have a cat in my throat, meow. Take the back part of your bathing suit and make a single crochet in that first stitch we had made at the back of your bikini bottom so you're linking the front to the back and what you're going to do now is pick up each and every stitch as they present themselves to you and that is our first hundred chain we had made at the beginning of the back of our bikini you're picking up all those hundred stitches right there so you created the link with your eight chains picked up 100 single crochets time to join the back to the front again making eight chains I'm going to the front back of your work and single crocheting in the first single crochet we had made in the last row of your front when we had increased so find that first single crochet there where you had increased and single crochet in it and pick up all of those 80 stitches we had at the end of the last row of your front and that was row 144 all right so you pick up those 80 stitches and at the end of those 80 stitches this is what your work will look like you see how you attach the front to the back creating those little side seams that will rest beautifully on your hip and at the end of that first round of your waist you will have 190 stitches in total time for the second round of your waist so you remember that chain eight we had made you're going to pick up each and every chain and make a single crochet in it so eight single crochets and that is the beginning of your second round of your waist all right so once you have those eight single crochets and now time to pick up each and every of the hundred stitches from your back you're still at the second round of your work you will pick up each and every chain making single crochets in it and then you will pick up the 80 stitches from the front of your work and i will meet you at the end of your second round at the end of your second round you will have 196 stitches in total so 8 plus 8 plus 100 plus 80. all right we're still crocheting in the round we are at our round three and for our round three we are ready to create our star stitch pattern all right let me take you through it slowly at the beginning of the round you're going to chain three and you're going to pass your crochet hook through the second chain of your hook and yarn over and pass it right back through that chain you have two loops on your crochet hook then go to the third chain and do the same pass your crochet hook yarn over and right back through the chain you have three loops on your crochet hook and then what you're going to do is go to the next stitch and on in the back loop only pass your crochet hook and yarn over and back 
and you will have four loops on your crochet hook. Here you go. Then you're going to repeat into the next stitch the same in the back of your loop, pass your crochet hook yarn over, you have five loops on your hook and repeat in the next stitch. And you will have six loops on your crochet hook and then you are going to yarn over through all those loops. That is just for the first half star that you have created. The second and the rest will be a little different. So you chain two instead of chaining three. Right there. And then you see that little diagonal little opening right there. You are going to you see that little hole right at the bottom of your chain you're going to pass your crochet hook through that do you see that that's really at the base of your chain pass your crochet hook through that yarn over and back you have two loops on your crochet hook and then you see that little diagonal stitch right there that thread pass your crochet hook through that yarn over and back you have three loops on your crochet hook and then for the three next, you're going to go to the three next stitches only in the back loop, pass your crochet hook and repeat one. Four loops on your crochet hook, five loops on your crochet hook, and six loops on your crochet hook. And then yarn over and through all the loops. And that is the second half star created. This is what you're going to repeat all around this round, this third round of your waist. Let's do it again. Chain two. At the base of the chain two, in that little hole, pass your crochet hook yarn one over and back, in the diagonal yarn over and back, and then in the back loop of the three next stitch, yarn over and back, yarn over through all the six loops on your crochet hook, and repeat all around. I will meet you at the end of your third round. Look how pretty! So you see we're creating the waist. Since I want my bikini bottom to be a high waist, we will do a bunch of rounds. You are at the end of your third round. You're going to create your last half star. And once you have your last half star, you will slip stitch at the top of the first half star you had created at the beginning of your round, right there, in the first stitch. And we are about to begin our first round. Our first round, what you're going to do is make three half double crochets in each half star. So you're going to find that little hole, you will see a little hole at the top of each and every half star, right there, and you're going to make three half double crochets in that hole. Find the next hole on top of your next half star, and again, make three half double crochets in that little hole. And this is what you're going to do all around that fourth round. And I will meet you at the end of your fourth round. And just like that, you created little stars. Aren't they beautiful? I love this stitch so much. All right, we are at the end of your round four. I'm going to make your last three half double crochet in that last top of your star. And then you're going to slip stitch with the first half double crochet you had made. You are done with your fourth round. We are going to tackle the fifth one. The fifth one is pretty easy. You're going to chain one and then you're going to single crochet on top of each and every half double crochet you had made. Super simple, just single crochet all around. And I will meet you at the end of your round. All right, this is what your work will look like. Look how beautiful the star stitch is, seriously so so nice and this beautiful alice yarn gives it justice so we are done with our fifth round and now we are going to finish it by making your last single crochets 
and slip stitching with the first single crochet you had made. And let's tackle the next round. We are at round six of your waist, chain one. And for your round six, you're going to make a round of single crochet, but only in the back loop, just like so. And I will meet you at the end of your round six. Now if you like your bottom to be sitting low on your waist, you could stop right there, but I want mine to be higher. Finish your round and for your seventh round, you're going to make one round of single crochet all around and I will meet you at the beginning of your eighth round. All right, we are at the beginning of our eighth round. Since we are creating a high-waisted bikini, I would like to narrow the waist a little by decreasing, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. What you're going to do is a single crochet 18 stitches. And then you are going to decrease by crocheting two stitches together. Pass your crochet hook through the stitch. Yarn over and back, you have two loops on your crochet hook. Go to the next stitch, pass your crochet hook through that stitch, yarn over and back. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and through all the loops on your crochet and just like that you turn two stitches into one and that is what you're going to repeat all around 18 single crochet decrease to net the two next stitches into one all around you are done with round eight and for round nine we are going to repeat around three so we're going to create the bottom of the star stitch pattern your half bottom of the star And for round 10, you're going to repeat round four, which is the upper part of your star, the three half double crochets. And I will meet you at the end of your round 10 for your round 11. You're almost done with your bikini bottom, guys. Every time I say bikini bottom, I still think about SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> All right, so for round 11, chain one and then single crochet in uh, each and every one of the stitches that are presenting themselves to you. And I will meet you at the end of your round 11. And for round 12 of your bikini bottom, you're going to chain one and single crochet all around, but in the back loop only Oh my god, this is so pretty. I absolutely love it. Finishing the round, slip stitching with the first single crochet we had made. And since we are doing a high waist, we're going to continue for a few more rows. You could stop here again if you like it to be a low waist. So for round 13, we're going to do a round of single crochet all around. For round 14, single crochet 17 and then decrease all around, repeating. And then for round 15, do the bottom part of your star stitch. Round 16, the upper part of your star stitch. Round 17, a round of single crochet all around. And for your last 
last round, round 18, single crochet in the back loops only. And that is it. You are almost done with your bathing suit. We are going to now do a round of single crochet around the leg opening right there. And I will show you exactly how to do that. And then we will be done. We are ready for the last step. Time to pick up some single crochets along the leg opening and I will show you exactly how to do that. And that is our last step guys. All right, so pass your crochet hook right at the beginning of the eight single crochet. Uh, we had made to assemble the back to the front right there and join with your green yarn chain one and then you're going to be picking up single crochets along those eight stitches Then you're going to continue to pick up single crochets along the back of your bathing suit going down to your middle part to your crotch part and the most important thing is to pick up the same amount of single crochet on one side of your bathing suit on one leg one leg opening then the other leg opening and that is the most important I think for me I had 50 single crochet going down the back part and then of course I had 18 single crochet along the crotch area and then on the front part I picked up about 45 single crochets and I did exactly the same on the other leg opening and I slip stitch of course at the end with the first single crochet I had made and that is it my friends just like that you are done with this beautiful high-waisted bikini bottom what do you think did you like it i really really love it i hope you love it too i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as i have enjoyed creating it for you i am looking forward to many many more in the meantime happy crochet Mwah, kisses bye <laughs> If you are not subscribed to my channel, don't hesitate to do so. so, 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 so. Hen, can you shut the door? He's not listening to me. Beginner plus intermediate level. level. And the little star, the star stitch pad, the little starts. See the boats behind me? Isn't it pretty? I cannot stop looking at them. It's so peaceful. A lot of bugs though bugs like me. I don't know what it means. Am I sweet? Am I stinky? <laughs> <laughs>